morning family what a wonderful opportunity we have once again today to uh, read and meditate on God's Word and today I'm going to read uh, from Acts chapter 12 where Peter was imprisoned because of the gospel and it's so interesting it says here the night before Herod was to bring Peter to trial he was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Now, I'd like for you to picture this. This I'd like for you to picture this. Here is Peter bound, and 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 it's interesting that Luke gives very specific uh, details about how he was imprisoned. He had two chains on his hands. He was sleeping between two guards, and there were sentries at the gate of the prison. He was very very well guarded, and interestingly enough. Peter was sleeping because suddenly it says in verse 7, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said. And the chains fell off Peter's wrists. And this, of course, was the beginning of the miracle. The angel came and set Peter free. So I'd like for you to think about this morning, about this incredible situation, crisis that Peter was in. He was bound with change, sleeping between uh, two with two uh, sleeping between two guards and sentries at the gate. It was an impossible situation, yet God was there setting Peter free. So my my word to you this morning is very very simple. No matter how impossible the situation is, God will still make a way for us. God is always in the business in making sure that we are where we are supposed to be. Now, we have to qualify this because it's not just that Peter was a normal prisoner. There were many other prisoners as well, and they weren't set free. It was just Peter that was set free. Why? Because he was on assignment for God. He was busy doing exactly what God wants him to do. Now, that doesn't mean that if you and I are not preaching the gospel, we are not pastors or apostles, that God will not take us out of impossible situations. On the contrary, every time we are working for God, whether it be in our job or our business, whether we are an assignment um, for God in whatever sphere of, of the world we are working in, God will always make sure that he makes a way for us. Even if things are impossible, God will make a way. And, and Peter was so uh, convinced about this that he was actually asleep and the angel had to w- wake him up. He wasn't worried at all that the next day he might have been is executed he was at peace knowing that God will make a way and that God is in control because his life belongs to him and if God has brought him thus far God will take him the rest of the way I'd like to encourage you with that this morning doesn't matter how many people things you have around you kind of boxing you in or you're facing these obstacles and these troubles Fear not, the Lord is with you. And even if he has to send an angel to wake you up in the middle of the night, God will make a way and you will be where you need to be because you and I are God's servants and God's children. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much that even when things are impossible, you are with us to rescue us, to make a way for us. I pray, Lord, that we would never forget that. And that even when times are tough, that we would rest, even be at sleep, knowing that you care for us and that you will make a way for us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. We share some more thoughts on the book of Acts.